Hey guys, welcome to my P4 HD installation tutorial. And before we start, I suggest that you should install it when you have NVIDIA GPU. And this installation is for Windows. And today we'll be using Anaconda, which you can learn how to install on this video. I'll link it down in the description from around 1.24 to around 3 minutes. I'll be quickly go over here how to install Anaconda and which one is the correct version I'm using. And to start with, uh, after you install Anaconda or when you already have Anaconda installed, go go find a specific location where you want to have uh, your PFU in. So mine is in on gdisk slash tutorial and you'll want to go to gdisk slash tutorial for me. And if you're using a different disk, uh, you have to specifically say which disk you're going to, then it'll take you to, to this, or else it'll just stick to C disk. Anyways, to continue, we can either manually download this GitHub, uh, GitHub repo, or you can use Git clone and with the link afterwards. So, well, there's, there's not really a lot of difference. So if I use Git clone, you can just paste this in. And if you want to manual do it, you can just download zip here. And you just basically have to drag the zip here and then unzip it and then you get the same thing as git clone. And now when it's done, you can go in and see all the files here. And second, we gotta create a virtual uh, and virtual environment. So here you copy this line, con dot create dash and pfuhd space python equals 3.6. So now it will create a virtual environment for you. So you have to press Y to process. And now you're done. See, now we're in the base in my, uh, in a base environment and we want to activate the PFU HD that we just created. So whenever you want to start using the same environment, you can use this command too. So conda, you copy and paste it here. Activate, you can see it changes to PFU HD. That means you're in that environment. The next thing you have to do is the requirements. Uh, they don't have a specific requirements uh, text file. So we're gonna do everything manually. So we do conda install dot uh, dash C PyTorch PyTorch. Y once that's done and you, you uh, also have to install um, torch vision press Y yeah now you have to install all these requirements you can see these requirements here here um, some are already installed, so just to double check. Yeah, this one is installed. I don't think you need to install JSON because it's already in. Yeah, so don't worry about this. It's already built in. And you had to install this one. And install the next one, TQDM. And Open CV Python Trim Mesh. Don't install this one. We install this one manually later. And install this FM, uh, FMM peg. So don't install the Pi Open GL yet. So after everything is installed, um, you copy this link and then you paste it into a web and then you look for PyOpenGL36 for Python 3.6 here. You want to download this, not this one, because these are ex uh, Accelerate and you don't want those. After you download it, it will be in your download folder if it's your default destination. And you can just copy this whole thing. And then I think pip install and then you copy this uh, you don't want to do the pip install pi opengl because the default version 
are missing some essential files for this uh, for running so you want to download a, a edited version a, an edited version where there is a specific dll that it needs to run now after when you finish installing everything you have to create a file called checkpoints and you go into this checkpoints you can just copy whole thing right here cd and then it goes to checkpoints right and then you just want to go download go to this link and download the check checkpoint it's downloading now it's 1.4 gb by the way and since i have it download downloaded before i'm gonna just drag it drag my old one in it's a 1.5 gb so after you finish downloading, I canceled it because I already have one copy. So you, after you finish downloading it, you can just move it in this checkpoint folder. So now I'm just going to paste my old one in here. Okay, after you have it downloaded in the checkpoint, you can now input your um, sample image. There's a default sample image in here already. You can put in your own, but the name has to be test. Uh, so you can reuse the same command so it has to be PNG or JPG specifically you can just copy this one here tutorial p hd when you're in this folder you can just run it and you copy the first line here app.simple underscore test Okay, once it's done, you can see that um, in the results recon, you can see a object file and a visualization right here. Let me show you here, visualization here. This object file, you can then input to um, other 3D or any other software and you can use it. If you get um, something says um, Q that runs out of memory, let me try to get that. Let me try to get that thing happen. Give me a second. Um, if you get something like Q out of memory, try to allocate like how some MB stuff. You can either go to your task manager and close your NVIDIA container. Uh, or you can try to change the target size down. So you see this 512, that means the size of the photo, right? I, I specifically downscaled this already to 500 just to just to use it. But if you can use it in a lower resolution too, and you have to change the file. So you go to apps and then you go to simple test and you go to notepad. And then in here you can change the dimension right here. You can change it to like 100 pixels or something like that and you press save so i'm not going to change it right now since I, I don't need to change it so but if you downscale the output is naturally like less less uh clear and you can visualize it the you can visualize the object file with this meshlab.net and then you can just download this program which is here i already have it installed and you can just drag your object file in here and can you you can visualize it basically okay okay so if you want to make a visualization video where it, it like the, the model like turns you just copy this line and then you paste it you have to be sh uh, be sure that there's something in your recon file uh, object an object file in your recon and you paste this and the height and width has to be the the dimension of your object file. So since my dimension is five one two, this will be five one two by five on, uh, by five one two. So now you can press this video and you can see that it just turns. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So that's about it for the installation tutorial, and. If you have any questions, join my Discord, and I'll see you guys next time.